the drum king at Hollywood Park. Peterson is the winner. And it's Noah getting up, winning it. And they're off. Five running. Pops is going up. And Brown is able to running away. Yeah, Jack and Fred drawing it up. Cougar on the right. That's a fine dip. Fred and Lucy just galloping. John Henry keeps rolling along. Snow Chief is striking. Best pal breaks away. Zafara's all black. Real quiet. Here's now along the inside. This is the gun. Glad you could join us for Sunday racing at Betfair Hollywood Park as we wrap up the racing week. Perfect weather and a very good stakes race named to honor the great Affirmed. The Affirmed goes to the eighth race on the nine race program. Pick six on races four through nine. No carryover. Let's get right to the action of Sunday's opener. Six three year old fillies went six furlongs for a $25,000 claiming price in the opener. Number four, one magical girl looks for back to back wins, the post time choice at three to two. Vic Stoffer with a call of the opener. They're at the post. They're off. Good start for Luca Donia and Backwoods Bell. Miss Ambition was a bit erratic and between horses now to run up into second. Then comes One Magical Girl and Mary Jean, and the trailer is Warren's Morgan. It's Backwoods Bell and Miss Ambition up the back stretch. Backwoods Bell, a length and a quarter. Miss Ambition, the same margin to One Magic Girl, who's at the rail third and two and a half from the front. Luca Donia is fourth with four lengths to make up. Mary Jean has five to come, and then five lengths last. Warren's Morgan, Backwoods Bell, the one to beat. Backwoods Bell rounds the far turn, and she's built up a two and a half length lead. The whip is out on Miss Ambition. She just lost second, though, to one magical girl. Mary Jean is moving up three deep. Luca Donia not responding and dropping out. Passed by Warren's Morgan, and they're all chasing Backwoods Bell, who settles into the stretch with a solid lead. Backwoods Bell, three and a half or four in front of Mary Jean. Warren's Morgan is closing a lot of ground, and here comes Warren's Morgan, and she means business. Last at the quarter pole, Warren's Morgan looks like she's going to run by them all. Mary Jean up into second. Warren's Morgan, last to first. Warren's Morgan won by two. Mary Jean second. Backwoods Bell third. One magical girl finished fourth. Another picture perfect ride from Rafael Bejarano takes Warren's Morgan far back off the pace, saves ground along the rail, swings out, turning for home, and collars the leader to score nicely. Good meet for George Guterres and owner breeder Benjamin Warren, $9.80. Long shot Mary Jean completed that exact a good for $34 and a dime. There was a claim, the favorite number four, one magical girl to Bill Spar for $25,000. Final time, 111 and 3. On to race number two, maiden claimer at five furlongs. Phillies and mares three and up. The claiming price, $30,000. A couple of class droppers took most of the money. Perpetua, the four to five choice. Sudden Sunday adds Blinker's second choice at two to one. Seven went five in race two. They're off. Good start for Kissing in the Dark and Sudden Sunday. Tribal chatter and... Airedale are close up at the rail. Perpetua is in a tight spot. Then comes the trailer, and that's Emerald Island. They leave the backstretch. Kissin' in the dark is the leader, and it's a nice lead. Kissin' in the dark, two and a half lengths. Sudden Sunday. Blinkers on, and after the front runner now, Sudden Sunday is coming after Kissin' in the dark. Perpetua has advanced to third now, and about five off the lead. Tribal Chatter is next. Sing a Tail is fifth with seven lengths to make up. Then comes Ardell, and the trailer is Emerald Island, and the leader is kissing in the dark, but Sudden Sunday is about to run alongside. Perpetua needs a way through, going to swing three wide, and Perpetua's on the move, trying to run down new leader Sudden Sunday. Sudden Sunday's a length in front. Perpetua closes the gap with every stride, going to be close. Sudden Sunday, Perpetua to the outside. Here comes Perpetua. Perpetua beat Sudden Sunday in the last couple strides. Tribal Chatter third and Kissing in the Dark fourth. Joel Rosario in the favorite Perpetua score in race number two for the owners Gem Incorporated. Eric Krueljack, the winning trainer of this filly, a daughter of Touch Cold, bred in Kentucky. Breaks her maiden her fourth career start, returns $3.80. Sudden Sunday second, Tribal Chatter completed a chalky trifecta. Early double, $18.40. Final time. 58 and 3. On to race number 3, an allowance race, 6 furlongs on the turf and a field of 5. Number 1, obviously the even money choice. Rauschenberg is 3 for 4 on this turf course. He looks for back-to-back -back wins. Second choice at 2 to 1. 5 went 6 in a third. They're at the post. 
They're up. Obviously a stride slow. Rauschenberg and Majestic City close up. Then comes Venomous and to the outside Silver Summation and obviously is rank in behind the leaders. Joe Talamo had to take up and tap on the brakes there, so obviously is a tugging trailer. Up the backstretch they run now, and Venomous and Majestic City are one, two, but obviously he's on the move. He found a clear spot at the rail, and after breaking last, he's going to go all the way through and lead, obviously to the front. Rauschenberg is fourth and about two and a half off the lead. Silver summation outside of him, obviously the new leader. Midway around the far turn, obviously is a half length in front of Majestic City in second. Rauschenberg stays at the rail in the blue and white. He's third and two from the front. Venomous is five off the lead, passed by Silver Summation, obviously final furlong. A two-length lead, Rauschenberg is cutting into that margin now, so is Silver Summation, so is Majestic City, obviously is being tackled by Rauschenberg, who's alongside, obviously loses the lead to Rauschenberg, who wins. Rauschenberg beat, obviously, by a neck. Majestic City third, Silver Summation fourth. Huge effort by the 1-2 finishers in race number three. Rauschenberg scores for owner Gary Brode, trainer Marty Jones, and jockey Garrett Gomez. This gelding is now four for five over the Hollywood Park turf course. Back-to-back -back wins at the meet for this gelded son of Grand Slam. Giant try by the runner-up. Obviously had some traffic troubles, finished well, and actually galloped out back in front. So the first two both ran big races. 660 on the winner. Final time, 108 and 4. We'll take a timeout. Come back with a Sunday pick six. Betfair Hollywood Park is now open with exciting racing through Sunday, July 15th. World-class racing awaits you like the Grade 1 Hollywood Gold Cup and the Grade 1 American Oaks. Free contests like our Horses and Homers contest every Sunday where you can win your share of $600 cash. And of course, our famous Friday Night Live Rock at the Races concert series brings a great concert every Friday night to Betfair Hollywood Park. Sunday's pick six kicked off with a fourth race, six furlongs, claiming horses, three year olds and up for a $25,000 tag. Scratch number one, Master Chef. Number four, Solar Rocket drops in class back onto the main track, bet down to the even money favorite. They're up. Solar Rocket and Gallant Jet ask for speed. It's Sultry in the Cape, a close third. Circle Drive away fourth, and the early trailer is Bellow Purse. Solar Rocket is fastest up the backstretch. He's a length in front of Gallant Jet, who tracks from second. The same margin to Chantal, and it's Sultry in the Cape. Third at the rail and two from the front. Then it's two lengths to Circle Drive and Bellow Purse as they pass the half-mile marker. Solar Rocket trying to go it all the way into the far turn. Still now a length and a half in front of Gallant Gent in second. Same margin again to its sultry in the Cape, but now that lands him three lengths behind. Circle drive just outside of its sultry in the Cape. Bellow Purse ridden along, but at the back of the pack, five lengths first to last. Solar Rocket confronted by Gallant Gent. Solar Rocket's just a neck in front now. Gallant Gent is second. It's two lengths to its sultry in the Cape third and circle drive fourth. Solar Rocket now opens up again. Solar Rocket has turned away Gallant Gent and leads by two and a half lengths. Gallant Gent continues to chase in second. It's sultry in the Cape circle drive. Solar Rocket going to go coast to coast to win. All the way in front, Solar Rocket won by three and three quarters. Gallant Gent second, circle drive third. It's sultry in the Cape. Finish fourth. What a nice claim this has turned out to be for owner Jim Pitzer and trainer Mark Glatt. Solar Rocket taken for $12,500 out of a winning effort on March 24th. That was off a 14-month layoff. Since then, three starts, two wins for this gilded son of song and a prayer. Edwin Maldonado aboard at $4.20. Gallon Gent second best, third was Circle Drive. Pick three, 2380, final time, 109 and 2. On to race number five, a mile and a quarter on the turf for Maidens. Three-year-olds and up a purse of $52,000. A late scratch, number two, Kate Kikui scratched. The favorite, three, five to two shots. God of War went favorite at five to two for trainer A.C. Avila. They're at the post. They're off. 
God of War and Stratify. Loon de Caro. Stratify now takes back Loon de Caro. Swift Eagle splits all of them, though, and goes up to the front. Great Rising Star, and the early trailer is Yomi Bato. So Swift Eagle will set the pace with one lap to go. He's three quarters of a length in front of Great Rising Star between horses and God of War just outside. Loon de Caro races in fourth and about four from the front runner. Stratify backs off now to fifth with six lengths to make up. And then it's 10 lengths last to Yomi Bato as they run out the clubhouse turn. It is Swift Eagle. He runs around that clubhouse turn and leads now by a length and three quarters as God of War is going to go up and be a clear-cut second now. Great Rising Star backs off to third in the yellow sleeves and two and a half from the front. Loon de Caro has five lengths to make up. He's a length in front of Stratify. And Yomi Bato has caught up to the back of the pack. He's only seven lengths behind the front runner now as they run up the back stretch. It is still Swift Eagle and God of War 1-2. Swift Eagle, three quarters of a length in front. God of War second, the same margin to Great Rising Star, who stays tucked in third at the rail. Loon de Caro is the first one to get some pressure. He's being pushed along now, four off the lead. Stratify also comes under a ride. Yomi Bato just outside of him. Still seven lengths, first to last. Three furlongs left to race. And Swift Eagle trying to go it all the way. Swift Eagle just got a tap on the right shoulder to Kate stay in front. He's a length in front of a new second place horse and that's Great Rising Star. God of War could still do it though. He's just outside of that one. Loon de Caro is four wide and only two and a half off the lead. Stratify at the rail. Yomi Bato is the trailer and the leader is still Swift Eagle but Great Rising Star is right alongside and Yomi Bato is closing a lot of ground in the center of the turf course. Great Rising Star Swift Eagle in a three wide Yomi Bato. Great Rising Star Yomi Bato Last to first to win, Yomi Bato beat Great Rising Star. Swift Eagle third, Loon to Carroll fourth. Yomi Bato wears down a stubborn long shot, Great Rising Star to score in race number five. Joe Telamo first time aboard for trainer Mike Pender, gilded son of Mineshaft. Yomi Bato returning $9.20. Long shot, Great Rising Star completed that exacta, good for $49.90. To pick three, $60 and a dime. Pick four, $100.90. Pick five, $514.90. A mile and a quarter on the turf in 202 flat. Sixth race tipped off the late pick four, a mile and 1 16th. Three year olds and up, a claiming price of $32,000. Number three, Special Kid, comes off a nice win closing weekend at Santa Anita. He was claimed by Bill Spar. He double jumps in class, and he's a two to one choice. Seven went a mile and a 16th in a race number six. They're up. Special Kid is asked for speed and goes to the front. Rock this way, Temerity in the center. Next door neighbor and Hurricane Lake close up. Highway Bandit is second to last. Oh, and he might have clipped heels at the clubhouse turn. Highway Bandit took a funny step there, and Easy Lead passes him. So they run to the backstretch, and the leader is Special Kid. He's a length and a quarter in front of Temerity in second, a half length to next door neighbor, third and about a length and three quarters from the front. Rock This Way and Hurricane Lake are fourth and fifth. They've got three and a half or four to make up, and then three lengths last to the two trailers, Easy Lead and Highway Bandit, five furlongs left to race. Special Kid trying to go it all the way on the front end, and he's comfortable up front. Special Kid leads by two lengths now from Temerity, who tracks in second. Next door neighbor is third at the rail, and he's now about three from the front. Now, Easy Lead is making a move from the back of the pack. Here goes Easy Lead to be last from last up into fourth outside of Hurricane Lake. Rock This Way has dropped back to second to last, and Highway Bandit is the trailer, and Special Kid is less than three furlongs from the money. Special Kid goes to the quarter pole, a three-length lead now on Temerity, who's all in, chasing him in second. Next door neighbor stays at the rail, then Hurricane Lake. Easy Lead's charge has flattened out, and he's six from the front, and Special Kid will be very tough to catch. Special Kid, top of the stretch. He builds up his lead. It's a solid four-length advantage over Next Door Neighbor to the outside Hurricane Lake and Temerity. Special Kid, final 16th. He still leads by three. Next Door Neighbor and Hurricane Lake are closing in, but they're also running out of ground. Special Kid, Hurricane Lake, Special Kid wins. Special Kid help, held off Hurricane Lake, won by a long neck. Next Door Neighbor was third and maybe Temerity for fourth. Gate to wire for this gilded son of Lemon Drop Kid. Special Kid, first start for the red-hot Bill Sparbarn. 
Joel Rosario aboard, $6.60. Second, Hurricane Lake, and finishing third, next door neighbor. Two claims in a race, the five next door neighbor to Bob Baffert, six Hurricane Lake, a three-way shake to Jeff Bondi, both those claims for $32,000. Final time, 144 flat, we'll take a break, come back with a seventh. Betfair Hollywood Park is now open with exciting racing through Sunday, July 15th. World-class racing awaits you like the Grade 1 Hollywood Gold Cup and the Grade 1 American Oaks. Free contests like our Horses and Homers contest every Sunday where you can win your share of $600 cash. And of course, our famous Friday Night Live Rock at the Races concert series brings a great concert every Friday night to Betfair Hollywood Park. Sunday seventh race, the start of the final pick three, one mile on the turf for California breads. Allowance race, optional claiming price of $25,000. Scratch number five, slammer time. Number seven, Valley Cat, the three to two post time choice. They're off. Kessa Bitsy asked for speed. He's very rare. The unusual one asked to stay close. These three fast in the stride. Member of the tribe and Valley Cat are next, and the early trailer is Tiz Pat. Very solid pace set jointly by Kessa Bitsy, and he's very rare. Kessa Bitsy, a half length in front. Now he's very rare, backs off just a bit, but the unusual one's going to force the issue, and there goes the unusual one three wide, and he'll go up into second and challenge Kessa Bitsy as he's very rare. Now relents and races in third, two from the front. It's five lengths to member of the tribe, another length to Valley Cat, about eight from the lead. And the trailer is Tiz Pat, solid pace still set, up the backstretch by Kessa Bitsy. Kessa Bitsy in front of the unusual one, three quarters of a length. He's very rare, now tracks those two, two and a half from the front. Now it's six lengths to the last three. Member of the tribe joined inside by Tiz Pat and outside by Valley Cat, and all three of them are moving up now within six of the lead. Kessa Bitsy leaves the back stretch, a length and a half in front of the unusual one who is galloping smartly still in second. He's very rare, going to be three wide. Tiz Pat is at the gray, and he's at the rail, and he's drawn within two and a half of the front. Tiz Pat advancing. Then member of the tribe, Valley Cat, Kessa Bitsy still in front. Tiz Pat is going to try to get through a tight spot at the rail. Meanwhile, Valley Cat is charging in the center, and he's very rare. Kessa Bitsy, Tiz Pat trying to get through. He's very rare. Valley Cat to the outside. Four coming to the wire. Valley Cat, he's very rare. Tiz Pat, Valley Cat. Boy, he threw his ears in the air when he made the lead like he does, but he was so close to the wire, he got the money. He's very rare. Second, and Tiz Pat third. Once again, a perfectly timed ride for Mr. Rafael Bejarano. Valley Cat for trainer Pete Erton scores the victory for the owners Broberg and Crystal Valley. Valley Cat returned $5 even for the win. Photo for second went to He's Very Rare. Third was number one, Tiz Pat. Pick three, $66 even. Final time, 135 and four. On to the featured eighth race, 34th running, grade three, affirmed handicap, $100,000 purse at a mile and 1 16th. Number three, Holy Candy, fourth in the bluegrass, and his last start is the two to one second choice. Scratch number six, American Act. The favorite liaison, he finished sixth in the Kentucky Derby. Rafael Bejarano rides for Bob Baffert. Field of six, Vic Stoffer with the call. The grade three affirmed handicap. They're off. Gunboat broke beautifully, goes for the front. Unusual heat wave, liaison close up. Nonios has to steady off heels. Holy Candy secures a good position early, and the early trailer is Blingo. It's Gunboat trying to back it up and slow it down to the back stretch, and Gunboat does just that. A length and a quarter to Unusual Heat Wave and Nonios, who's headstrong at the rail. Liaison is three deep to the back stretch in the Zetcher Pink and about three and a half off the lead. Holy Candy is racing with five lengths to make up, and the trailer is Blingo. Seven lengths from first to last into the back stretch in the third. 34th, a firm handicap, and Gunboat is doing it easily. Gunboat up the backstretch, five furlongs from the wire, and a length and a half in front of Unusual Heat Wave in second. Nonio stays at the rail, liaison just outside of him. Those two are two and a half from the front. Holy Candy is tugging at Joel Rosario. He is fifth and has five lengths to make up, and outside of him, Blingo, they leave the back 
stretch and gunboat could not have had it easier. He leaves the backside a length in front of unusual heat wave in second. Nonio San Liaison still two and a half or three from the front. Blingo and Holy Candy still five off the lead set by gunboat and now they're at the quarter mile marker. Gunboat is the leader. Unusual heat wave. White Blinkers comes to take him on. Nonios, no place to go. Liaison's got a clear path. Three off the rail and a length from the front. Holy Candy draws within two of the lead. And Gunboat's gone. So the new leader is Unusual Heat Wave. Nonios rides the rail. Liaison in the center. Now Nonios is a length in front. Liaison. Holy Candy to the outside. Nonios. Liaison. Nonios. The 34th affirmed handicap goes to Nonios and Martin Pedroza, three quarters over liaison. Holy Candy, third unusual heat wave, fourth. An upset in the affirmed handicap. Nonios and Martin Pedroza score nicely for trainer Jerry Hollendorfer, owner Green B. Smith Jr. Nonios, a colt by Pleasantly Perfect, takes down the affirmed and returns $33.80. Second liaison and finishing third was Holy Candy. Pick three, 232.40. Final time for the 34th running of the affirmed handicap, 142 and 4. We'll take a break, come back with the ninth and final. Betfair Hollywood Park is now open with exciting racing through Sunday, July 15th. World class racing awaits you like the Grade 1 Hollywood Gold Cup and the Grade 1 American Oaks. Free contests like our Horses and Homers contest every Sunday where you can win your share of $600 cash. And of course, our famous Friday Night Live Rock at the Races concert series brings a great concert every Friday night to Bet Fair Hollywood Park. Ninth and final wraps up the Sunday card and the racing week. Six furlongs on the turf, maiden fillies and mares three and up with a good purse of $52,000. Favorite number six, Wild Truffles, second at the condition last time out, but all the way down to the six to five choice. Put blinkers on the nine, tap, tap, you're it. Field of 10, went six furlongs on the turf, ninth and final. They're at the post. They're off. Cameron Cade, way to the center of the race track. Autumn View at the rail. These two quick. Wild Truffles close up. Athena Lee in the black fourth end close up as well. Revered and Candy Trophy are next. Then comes Tap Tap You're It and Bean of England. Special Charm and the trailer is Pure Smiles. The leader is Autumn View up the back stretch. Now quicker than Cameron Kate. Autumn View leads by a length and a half. Cameron Kate is second by a length to Athena Lee who moves through at the rail. Wild Truffles just outside of Athena Lee. Candy Trophy drafts into fifth now and about four from the front. Revered just outside of her. Tap Tap Your It has nine to come. She's about to be joined and passed by Special Charm in the pink. Then it's five lengths to Pure Smiles and Bean of England is the trailer and the leader is Autumn View. Autumn View about a length in front of Cameron Kate in second. Wild Truffles in striking position if she's good enough. Athena Lee is next. Candy Trophy closing. Special Charm is also on the move but they're all trying to run down. Autumn View who's still in front. Autumn View in front. Wild Truffles to the outside. Candy Trophy now three come to the wire. Autumn View Candy Trophy. Candy Trophy! Candy Trophy got up on the money. Very close for second between Autumn View and Wild Truffles. Special Charm finished fourth and finishing fifth was Athena Lee. Upset in the ninth and final Candy Trophy from off the pace. Good handling by jockey Martin Garcia for trainer John Sadler, owned by the Craig Stables, who also bred this filly, a daughter of Candy Ride, returns $19 for the win. Tight photo for second. The nod went to number two, Autumn View. Finishing third was Wild Truffles. Pick three, $332.40. Super high five, $6,818.40. Late pick four, the pool over half a million dollars, $870.95. In the pick six, nobody had it. Carry over for Thursday, $107,824. Five out of six, $710.80. Place pick all, nine out of nine, $2,151.10. Again, a Thursday pick six carryover, just under $108,000. That'll do it for Sunday racing and the racing week at Betfair Hollywood Park. No racing Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Back up and running on Thursday, first post at 1 o'clock, 
Friday night racing at 7.05, and next Saturday is Belmont Day. Come out to Hollywood Park as all have another tries to sweep the Triple Crown. Early first post for live racing at 11 a.m. and a shot glass giveaway. All have another shot glasses here Saturday at Betfair Hollywood Park. Until Thursday, for track announcer Vic Stoffer, I'm Kurt Hoover. We'll see you next week at Betfair Hollywood Park.